Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Lebanon Institute. Today I am going to discuss about laptop power sequence. It is very important for those who are interested in laptop preparing and I will discuss now how laptop works and this is a diagram and I will just explain how the whole process is completed from the first to last so please watch whole video first I will introduce with some parts of laptop motherboard the first is PCH it means platform controller hub and CPU and CPU with building graphics and SIO system input output and the process starts with when we'll plug in with adapter first there will be 19 volt with adapter and if we don't plug adapter then if we have battery then battery voltage will pass to whole motherboard it depends today I will discuss with adapter voltage 19 volt with that voltage we will discuss all the process suppose there is a adapter connected with that laptop and 19 volt will pass first to the 3 volt 5 volt section then RAM section then 19 volt will pass to 1.05 volt section it means PCH section then it will pass to CPU core section so and then how this voltage will pass to the whole motherboard we will see now then 3 volt 5 volt section or standby section will start working as 3 volt always will go to SIO and 3 volt always will go to that MOSFET and that MOSFET also start working and 5 volt always also will pass from this 3 volt 5 volt section then 5 volt always will go to that MOSFET and this was before power sequence and after we press the power button then the signal will pass to SIO then SIO will pass PCH power enable to that MOSFET but before that signal there will be 3 volt always first it will go to BIOS then 3 volt always will go to that MOSFET then PCH power enable will be in that MOSFET then the MOSFET will pass 3 volt always to PCH and then if everything is okay then SIO will provide RSM RST signal to PCH and there will be another signal which will pass from SIO to PCH that is PM power button after having two signal RSM reset and PM power button PCH will provide two signals to SIO that is SLPS3 and SLPS4 and then SIO will provide to RAM section CSON and then RAM section will pass 1.5 volt and SIO in 10th number step SIO will pass SUSP signal first it will go to that MOSFET then that MOSFET after get getting the MOSFET SUSP signal then 
that MOSFET will provide 3.3 volt SAS and after getting here in this MOSFET SAS P signal then the MOSFET will provide 5 volt SAS and 5 SAS P signal will also go to 1.8 volt circuit then SAS P signal will enter into also 1.05 volt circuit then SIO will provide signal to CPU core section that is BRN signal it is very important signal and when CPU core section will get BRN signal then CPU core section will produce two signal that is CPU core and GFX core that means CPU core section is ok and then there will be a comparator first BRM, BRM power good will go to that computer in one side and in other side there will be PCH power ok and then output will be system power ok and when PCH will get system power ok then PCH will pass a signal name DRM power ok signal and PCS also will pass CPU power OK and another signal that is very important PLT reset also pass PCS to CPU and after having these signals PCH will communicate with that BIOS and if the communication is successful then the there will be display and the whole process is completed and if there is any problem in any signal and any voltage signal then the process will be incomplete and there will be no display or power problem or other problems so first we can confirm that SIO is good if RSM RST and power button is signal is ok and we, we can understand that PCH ok if we get that PLT set is ok then we can say that PCH is ok and after having a CPU core and GFX core and if the everything is ok and we can say that we can see display and if th there is any problem after having all the signals that display is not coming then we can reprogram this BIOS and you may get the display after reprogramming that BIOS and if you have any power problem issue having all the signals and voltages but no power then you can write this BIOS then problem may be solved and there will be other issues 3 volt 5 volt section or RAM section you, you have to actually go into deep to that section to all the sections and you can find out the problems and you can troubleshoot the problems so is all is today is all and thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and make comment and please like and share thank you very much